Warning! This video contains potential spoilers. If you don't want to know anything about the game, turn back now! You have been warned! What is going on Survivor? Draco Invictus here and I have a very special video and like I said before the intro, huge disclaimer, this could spoil the game for you. <laughs> But if you're having problems and you really want to know, then this is the video that you are going to want to see. Because in this video, I'm going to show you where each of the journal locations are, all the items that you need to collect, and I'm even going to take you to the end game location and show you what you need to do to get off the island. So if you don't want to know that information, click away now. Okay, so if you're still here, that means that no thumbs down, no nasty comments or anything like that. You want this information and I'm going to provide it to you. Now, if you didn't know by chance, somehow you're playing this game and you have not stumbled upon any of it. Let me give you a brief breakdown. First off, your spawn point is random. So if you've only played one game of Night of the Dead, you won't always spawn at the same bunker location. There are several spawn points around the map outside of each spawn point located somewhere on the ground, very close by will be one of these journals. So if we come up to the journal and we take it, that is our first clue. So if we open it up, I'm not going to read the, the color information over here, the story background kind of a thing. That's for you guys to read. The important thing here is clue number one. You can obtain information needed to escape. 15.40 by 17.87, go to coordinates. You can obtain items you need on the second floor of the research facility. And then it also includes a little zoomed in part of the map down here, it shows you exactly where you need to go. But how do you figure out these coordinates? If you don't know, let me explain it to you really quickly. So 15.40, so almost 15 and a half by 17 and three quarters, we'll say. So on your map, it starts at zero, right? This is 0 0.00 and you go down all the way down to 30 and you go left to right all the way to 30. So 15.5, that's going to be right here in the middle between 15 and 16 and 17 and three quarters. It's going to put us right about here. And yes, you can set a map marker that will show up on your compass. Just like when you set a flag down at your base or some point of interest, and it shows the little diamond up there. If we take a look at our compass here, you will see if I spin around, there's the little icon almost directly south. It now has a little gold marker and that is our map marker. And you can move it around anytime you want. So there are seven total entries that we need. We just picked up the first one. We're going to jump over to the second location, this research facility. I'm going to show you exactly where it is on a fully displayed map. So this is one of the spoilers because I'm going to show you everything of the map and a big shout out to outlaw 2044 on the discord server. If you want to visit the discord server, not mine, it is the night of the dead discord server. I will put a link down in the description below. A link for mine's down there too, if you wanted to visit mine. But if you wanna say, hey, and give a big thanks to Outlaw 2044 for this map, that is something that you should absolutely do because this map is high res, it's gorgeous. And I just wanna make sure that credit is given where credit is due. And also a big shout out to Prototype Raven uh, for the cool transition that I'm gonna be using in between each of these. Uh, it's very cool. You guys will see it. I added a little sound effect to it and a big shout out to them for creating that. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And, um, so, and they said we could use it. So here I am using it, but let's jump over to location two, the research facility, and we'll, we'll go from there.
All right, guys, so here we are at the research facility, and this is the location that we will find our second journal entry. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the building, and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to pick up inside. All right, guys, so here we are on the second floor of the research facility. I have cleared everything out, and here is our journal entry and the item that we need to take with us. So let's go ahead and pick up the journal entry. And we'll pick up this item, which is an antenna. So now let's take a look at our journal again, and we're gonna flip over to journal entry number two. You can obtain information needed to escape. The coordinates are 14.00 by 15.29. Go to the coordinates. You can obtain items you need in the third room on the third floor of the hospital. So let's head over to the hospital and I'll show you where that is on the map. Here we are at the hospital. Now, I will tell you something very interesting about the hospital. First off, there are several ways that you could go in. You could go in through the front door. You could go in through the emergency room entrance. You could even go in through the top. There is a set of staircases off one of the wings where you could climb all the way up to the roof and then work your way down. Of course, we want to go to the third floor. And it also said the third room. But there are three wings to the hospital. So make sure that you check the entire third floor for it. And I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. Let me go clear it out. All right, guys, so I went ahead and turned down the audio because zombies seem to get stuck in the walls in the hospital and there's no real way to, to kill them. So they make a lot of racket. So, but here we are, we are in the hospital and uh, let me show you, we are actually in the central wing. So if we come over here and I didn't clear this other wing, um, the other half, but like, here's the reception area. So there's one wing down that way. There's another wing down that way, but you want this one that's right off the reception area. And you want to go to the third door on the right. And that is going to bring us to this office. There's our journal entry. There's the microphone that we need to pick up. So let's go ahead and grab the journal and we'll get that opened up. So now it says you can obtain information needed to escape. 12.53 by 13.42 go to the coordinates you can obtain items you need on the second basement level there we're going to go ahead and grab this microphone and we're going to head to that location all right guys and here we are at our next location and yes it is the subway not the church that we need to head into so i'm going to go ahead and clear it out and then i'll show you where we need to go all right, guys, so once we get in, we need to cross the rails and then head down to the second floor. And I've already cleared this area out pretty much. But what we're actually looking for is right over here under the 135th Street sign. There's our journal and there's a pair of headphones. So let's get our journal and we'll take a look at our next location. All right, clue number four, you can obtain information needed to escape. 14.63 by 11.54. Go to the coordinates. You can obtain items you need on the second floor of the school. So let's head over to the school and we'll check that out. But first, got to grab these headphones. And here we are at the school. All right, so now that you know the location, actually where we want to head is upstairs. I think it's that large room right there. It's the library on the second floor of the school. So that's where we're going to head next. So I'm gonna go clear it out and I'll be right back. <laughs> Journal five is now within reach. We are up here in the library on the second floor of the high school and we need to take our journal entry and the globe is the item that we need to take from this location so that we can get off this island. Let's check out the journal. Clue number five, you can obtain information needed to escape. 22.55 by 7.18. Go to the coordinates. You can obtain items you need in the last building of the factory. So let's go check that out. But don't forget to take your globe.
and here we are just outside the factory so here's another little tip as you're looking for clues if you're trying to figure out oh which building in the factory or something like that take a look at the picture that's attached with the clue so obviously the x is where the next clue is going to be so we know it's in this back building and we know that it's the building closest to the three stacks or whatever those three things might be in this case they are like factory smokestacks so and we know that it's going to be in the last building of the factory so let's head over there and um, i'll show you where the next clue is and here we are in the back building right next to the big smokestacks and you can see the journal and whatever that thing is what is that Ah, uh, the Morse code machine. That's what, okay. That's what it looked like. I was like, is that a stapler? Hmm. Not a stapler. Let's take a look at the journal. All right. So journal entry number six, clue number six, you can obtain information needed to escape. Go to 23.71 by 26. Go to the coordinates. You can obtain items you need on the second floor of the prison. So now we're going to head that way. And here we are at the prison. So now I'm going to run inside and clear it out. And uh, then I will show you where the item is. And here we are. And this is the building that we want to go into. As you can see, there are several, but like this building is actually connected by a skyway to that one. So if you go through these buildings, this is the one that you want. And it's going to be upstairs. And it's the second to last right in here. So there's our journal entry and there is our phone. So let's go ahead and read the journal. Everything is ready. 6.39 by 17.51 are coordinates to where you will find an airfield. You can escape by fixing the broken communications equipment there. And then it shows us the little map. So let's grab our phone and let's head to the airport. We got a plane to catch. And here we are at the airport. Let me show you where it is on the map. All right, now you know where it is. We've collected all of the objects that we need. Let's go find out what it's going to take to get us off this island. So I've cleared out the hangar. What next? We have all the pieces and parts, right? Well, I could just say, well, you know what? I told you where all the journal entries were. So... I mean, that's what this video is all about, but you know what? I'll give you one more. Okay. This table right here underneath the sign is what we need to upgrade. As you can see, there are the six items that we've collected, but we need to make all the rest of these. We need to make an amp, a portable radio, a radio, radio equipment, and a woofer. How do you make those? Well, first you have to upgrade your engineering all the way up and then you will have access in the workbench to build these in the crafting workbench. Uh, it is the, um, the last, well, it's the third tab in the crafting workbench, uh, and you'll be able to make all of these. So that is how you get off the island. Well, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys like this video, could you think about giving it a big thumbs up? It helps me and the YouTube algorithm know that, hey, this is a video worth watching. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, clicking that bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. I have a ton of Night of the Dead content already on my channel and a lot more coming between my live stream series, my Survive the Night series that is totally about the base and the horde and one life. If I die, that season is over. We move on to season two, different location, different design. So. I also have a playthrough series where I'm playing exploration. I'm, you know, there's some base building and horde elements involved and it, cool tips and tricks that I've learned in the 140 plus hours that I've already put into this game. So yeah, there's a lot out there for you guys. And matter of fact, I even have another video coming out here in the next few days that are the top tips for beginners to Night of the Dead. If that interests you, you might really want to think on clicking that subscribe button and click the bell notification so that you do get notified when that video comes out. If you'd like to help me and the channel in a more personal way, there are ways to financially support the channel from my Patreon page, coffee.com, 
a stream elements tip jar, or you could even send me a super chat during a live stream. All links for that are down in the description below. Any help is certainly appreciated. It goes right back into this channel to make sure that I can keep providing great content for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I read them all. I answer any questions that may pop up. And I want to thank you just for tuning in, especially if you have made it this far. So until next time, take care of yourself out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!